Gate worked very well for Olaf and Kennen as engagers for the team too. On the side of FlyQuest though, they have also locked in the Zoe. Impact, not the guy you usually want to see on carries, but here's an invade. A double stun, JJ's gotta run away, but the core is already there to do some damage. Looking for two more shots to kill him. Will he have to burn the flash summon? He might be enough. Oh. Oh. Will there be the extra auto attacks? Impact coming in to try to help out as well. Flashing over the wall, flashing to follow. Two autos should be enough, and it is! Impact starts out strong in the top lane. And again, they win some momentum on the top side. They turn it into Infernal Drake here. They finish it up, and that is... Shielding, shielding you up, so you can sit on that and bait those objectives, hold on to those objectives much longer than a normal team. That's a really awkward... Oh, oh, into he's it. gonna have to cleanse, he's gonna have to cleanse, pops it. Here comes Rex, this could be more of a fight. Jumps back around for a slow, nice jump back as well. Going for round two, the flash knockup, and that's the first kill of the series for... Possible skirmish on the bottom side, and both junglers are here. You got Olaf coming down. Here comes the first knockup. Nice little stun towards JJ, though, as well. And here comes the teleports. Impact to join this one. This could be big. Stopwatch pop, but JJ certainly going to die. He's going to taunt. He's still going to go down. Impact has both the kills. Stats, for as you do knock them down in a group, they'll be able to take the turret. They'll be able to take the dragon as well. And it looked like JJ had a bit of a mis-execution there. As he came out of the bush, he let his taunt go, and I'm not sure if that was something where he was charging up. And preparing. There's no Drake alive. It is only Baron. This is really where everything is made and everything is broken. Team Liquid gonna be the on the top side. They found in, uh, Jensen. That's at least 30 seconds bot. Jensen burns the flash. He's got that to get away. Kais is gonna chase in. Couple more auto attacks. This should be a no! Oh! The Q's gonna land from Santorin as well. That's a kill picked up. Not quite the ton of the core JJ. See you looking to go back forward though. Double stun landed. Damage to the core JJ. Uh, a one year journeyman support here pulled up from the Academy League. And so far, FlyQuest holding on very well. But Team Liquid pick up the Drake. And double yeah. lift exchanging in game taunts because they have been very active on social media as well. Uh -huh. But Impact does get a turret during that time. Pull both trying to hold them off mid. Looking for a bit of poke, finds a sleep, but the Q won't get much damage because he tanks it up anyway. And the Siege continues. This is really what this comp does. Oh, the Infinite health, lots of poke. Here comes the play. A knock up in. Galio as well. Can they knock down one? They've gotten the first kill out of Sona. Devil is gone. In goes the cannon. Looks for turning it around, but not just yet. Viper is online for the double kill. Looks for number three. Can't find it just yet, but he might get it there. That three for Viper in his first play. He's already won one series. Looking for another. Looking for kill number four. They found the stun. And it is a quadra kill for Aurelia, and the fifth is picked up. The ace picked up for Pope. Ace Elster. on TL when TL is supposed to be strongest. Impact unable to catch oh. anyone with that cannon. Five minutes in, feeling pretty good about this one now. 4-0 on Aurelia. It's the focus you can see in these guys. Right? Right the poke there. doesn't really matter. It's just about the turret because Tarek and Sona can sustain you forever. So they need to attack the health of the turret. They need to push them forward, and that is all. Exactly but then. Not wait too long that we get to four item Kaisa. Look at the damage out of Polter. What a great crescendo. They found their opportunity. Double lift sets it up and Jensen knocks it down. Double lift able to get him back for the taunt earlier here. Smithy is on the chase. Olaf going strong. Got Axe is not going to find the first one, but now hasted by Sona could find the second. Nice blast going by some space as the bottom turret falls. As we say, both their backs off. Crescendo's available. The ultimates all are right here as the Drake is now started. Flyquest. Have to examine their battle lines. Look for the poke. Not gonna find this one just yet. Down goes the mountain drake. Picked up there by Wild Turtle. Will there be an engage? Drowsy on the one. A little bit of damage. Not gonna find much of a stun, but now they're re-engaged. Looking to burn him down, and Jade is gonna drop. And here comes the re-engage. They're fast. They're furious. They are invulnerable. And the chase is in. Looking to find that second kill. Ken is gonna help for this one. And they're gonna look to chase down Pobelter as well as Impact chases in. There's the death on the Santorin. Pobelter are gonna drop as well. Three for zero to Team Lick, and a Wild Turtle has nowhere to go. Yeah, he's just gonna get chased on down. He does alt out, but Smithy is behind him. There is no escape. And poor JJ decided that fight with a single stun. He stuns JJ immediately as he came in, shutting down the Galio. He couldn't even proc the aftershock, couldn't even get a taunt off before he went down. And just like that, Team Liquid are on the inhibitor turrets. They are running it right back to FlyQuest base. 20 seconds in the major response. Inhibitor itself is a guarantee. There's a chance they even look for the Nexus itself. They're cheating a bit forward, and they're winning around. They they're trying to, end. to at least get turrets, if not end the game. You can see these three minions must be cleared. Viper tries a bit. The turret's down low. Galio engages. Three versus five. Santorin. And turn it around. Santorin comes in, buys a bit of space, trying to run away. He's going to get back to the fountain. But the new oh, wave list. Not gonna find that paddle star. Happy to be on the Baron. Looking for the re-engage. Most ults are available. It's 
It's gonna be the slight fight picked up there by Santorin, but Team Liquid are invulnerable. Looking for the kills. They're gonna get one already. Look for a second. Viper gonna force the GA out as Turtle tries to stay alive, kiting away, but goes down to impact. The kills are going back and forth everywhere, but Santorin stays alive. Core JJ in the duel. A triple for the Rex side. Santorin pushes back impact, and now it's Core JJ alone. Just as the Tarek, it will be Black Touch winning the fight. Viper is unstoppable. Five kills in this. Mountain Drake picked up cleanly. Looks like FlyQuest unwilling to fight for that yeah, one. They might be able to get the mid turret here out of the pressure from getting that inhibitor down earlier, but that impact is spotted though. He's not in a flank position. TPing for a flank on the other side though. Here comes the play. Baron's too low. Good smite picked up, but there's the engage looking for the re fight, and it's not going to be enough just yet for the flag quest side. Kennen does massive damage. Galio joins the back line. One for one so far. Kennen for Galio. Revives Viper. He's dropping as well. A double kill now for X Smithy. Team Liquid get Baron and the team fight. What a huge victory for Team Liquid. They're chasing down Turtle too. He's going to get crescendo. They're going to have the Follow through and Doublelift takes him down. And now it's four versus two with a Baron buff Team Liquid certainly have enough to close down game one. Yeah, I think they can do it here. They're marching down. It's going to be up to a miracle from Pobelter or Santorin. But do they have enough damage to get through all of this healing and shielding? It doesn't seem likely. They're all full health. Lands a paddle star. Decent damage there. The chunk onto Zoe. One more shot. Double finds another three to 11 for him. And down go the last turrets. Team Liquid take back FlyQuest. 1-0 start to the series.